All right, just finished episode four. I'm going to give you the goods and the bads. I'm not going to be a whole hate-filled, you know, reviewer on Star Wars. I know a lot of them right now are just hating everything. I'm like, I'm not hating everything. I think it's kind of middling. And that's how I felt about this episode. So I'll give you a, one bad. 30-minute episodes. I'm like, these are made for TV movies. They're made for TV movies that they're stretching out into a season. Just make a two-and-a-half-hour, you know, movie on Disney+. Plus. Why can't you do that? Because the 30 minutes, it flew by. And I was like, this is not a beginning, middle, and end to any episode. It feels like a piece of an episode. So, uh, good. I'll say a setting looks kind of cool. I like that they have actual sets. I like that they have actual, uh, you know, filming on location. That's pretty cool. They're not doing everything's not CGI, blue screen ass background. Um, they slipped in earlier on, if you caught it, they slipped in that day. When she was referring to the alien, she's like, he, and she's like, or they. And I was like, ah, you fucking liberals. Uh, <laughs> then they had a weird moment where she was like, your, that was a good meeting. No meeting took place. You heard nothing. That whole section was just awkward. I further think that this is the Fight Club theory that I have, that she's one person. There's not two sisters. The sister died, and this is her hallucination. Because uh, Yord was just like, he's going to see, have you face yourself? I'm like, they're giving hints that this is... A singular individual, and this is in her head. That's what I think. Uh, let's see what else. What did I write down? I like the deaf logic to a degree. It was kind of weird. The conversation with Daphne Keen's weird-ass-looking alien talking about deaf and Jedi uh, celebrate the idea of someone going into the Force that they just killed. Which I think is funny. I was like, oh, you guys are like... You're like uh, some Middle Eastern terrorist group. <laughs> the Sith helmet of this new guy. It looks cool. And looks dumb at the same time. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I had a good ending right there where he blew them all away. That was kind of cool. I wish there was some buildup other than the 10 seconds they had a buildup. I don't like that the sister feels like she's doing it because she's being manipulated. Because I'm like, I would love it if she was for revenge. But they're like, oh, well, she's doing it because she'll get killed if she doesn't. So I don't know how I feel about that. Um, let's see. Let's see. What else did I write down? That's pretty much it. There's not a lot. There's not a lot per episode. Which is the biggest problem is like... You need to make longer thing. Just make, with, with every single show, it'd be significantly more satisfying if it was a made-for-streaming movie. You know? It'd be, it'd do so much better. Because this weird 30-minute things, it feels like a Cartoon Network show. Like, I'm like, these are, a hey, Cartoon Network had more completed episodes than these, these things do. So, yeah, again, middling. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Jeremy John's old rating Better time if you're drunk or team, forget about a T minus one day. That's kind of where I'm at. So comment down below and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to be on time with all these episodes. Watch them as they drop. It didn't come out at 9. It came out like at 9.07.